I love it when my different interests all come together in one book. And that has happened in the most recent book that I've read, which is Peculiar Discipleship by Claire Williams. Now, uh, I am somewhat familiar with the author, uh, Claire Williams, as we both participated in a webinar put on by the Center for Autism and Theology uh, that it comes out of Aberdeen University. And um, we're both very much interested in, uh, in autism. And that is indeed what uh, this book is on, Peculiar Discipleship and Autistic Liberation Theology. And I love theology and I'm very much interested in autism for numerous personal reasons, uh, but also as a pastor. And this book, as I was reading it, I was thinking, this is what I have been waiting for. I just love what she has to say in here. Uh, she has a common sense approach, which I really appreciate. I find that people tend to go towards extremes. And she is able to find a, a balance and to, to look at things in a very clear-headed way that absolutely makes sense. Uh, one example for that uh, is the, uh, the idea of autism and how we look at autism. And again, people tend to go to those extremes of autism is a terrible tragedy uh, and people with autism and their families must be pitied because it's a, it's a horrible thing that has happened to them. Or else uh, there are many people among uh, autistic advocates who see autism as this beautiful thing that is, uh, there's nothing uh, critical about it. There's nothing that we could say that was bad or frustrating or challenging, uh, that we need to reverse the narrative and just see it as all being a wonderful thing. Whereas the truth is somewhere in the middle. Middle. We need to get beyond the idea that it is just a, a tragedy, that it is something that we have to look at and just shake our heads uh, uh, because we are um, we see it as such a sad situation. Really, uh, the whole neurodiversity um, uh, way of looking at autism is very helpful. Uh, it's got its uh, limitations, but it is helpful to see that that autism is just a, a natural divergence uh, within people's uh, minds. And just as we have diversity uh, within the uh, biosphere, uh, we have uh, also diversity when it comes to the makeup of our brains. And autism can be a natural part of that. However, uh, for those who have autism and those who have uh, autistic people in their family, will know that there are challenges. And the challenges are not just as the, uh, the social model of disability would say uh, that um, the, the limitations are not just because society puts up a whole bunch of barriers, which society does put up a whole bunch of barriers, not just for autistic people, but uh, people uh, with disabilities in general. And so, uh, it is true that we need to work at uh, um, making the world and all the things that we do more accessible and to try to tear down those barriers. But there are things that autistic people encounter that is difficult, even if society was the most accessible it could possibly be. And, uh, and so Claire calls us to... Uh, consider what's called critical autism studies, which looks at autism in this more balanced way. But it's not just about critical autism studies. Uh, this is a book of theology. And this is what I, I really love about this book. Uh, Claire is able to bring together two kinds of theology that you wouldn't think would go together really well. And that is liberation theology and Pentecostal slash charismatic theology. And that, uh, especially when you bring those things into disability theology, uh, 
some people think, how, how does that work? Now, there is a natural connection between liberation theology and disability theology, and a lot of the, uh, the early disability theology really emerged out of liberation theology. Uh, the disabled God is probably one of the, the best examples of that. But uh, Pentecostal theology, and uh, Claire Williams is uh, from a, a Pentecostal background, and uh, that's the context in which uh, she uh, uh, experiences faith. Um, she is able to bring that in in a fresh way that helps us to look at um, at autism and theology and how we look at these things in a very fresh way. And I really appreciated that. Uh, one of the, the challenges that some people have with liberation theology is that it tends to be focused more on the most liberal wing of the church, which is, is fine. Uh, but what about those who are more evangelical or just a little bit more conservative uh, in their theology? Is uh, there a way for us to look at liberation theology um, in a way that we can learn from them without necessarily giving up on our theological distinctives. And that's what, what Clara Williams does. And she shows how um, Pentecostal theology and liberation theology can come together uh, and to um, support one another and uh, complement each other, especially as we look at autism, as we look at disabilities. And so uh, there's so much good stuff in here. The other thing, the last thing that I wanna share is that uh, Claire shares uh, not only from her uh, excellent uh, theological background and knowledge, uh, the research that she does there, it, it's, it's definitely something that stands up on uh, an academic level with uh, no issues at all. Uh, she's excellent at that. Uh, but she includes uh, her own personal experience with autism, and that's something that really brings this book together. And it's not as uh, some books uh, um, that are sort of um, a uh, autistic memoir that just is sharing uh, this is the life of autism. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with doing that kind of thing, but she actually is able to, uh, to bring her personal experience and use that to enhance the theological message that she's trying to get across. And it ends up benefiting each other. We, we can see uh, her experience through a theological lens, but we can also see the theology through real life. What we're talking about here is not just theory. Uh, it's not just something uh, for philosophers and theologians to discuss in their ivory towers, but this is about real life. And as a pastor, I would say that this book uh, has a lot for us as pastors as well for understanding um, autism, for understanding how we look at diversity in general. And so I would highly recommend this. Uh, it's not a how-to of uh, changing your church to make everything uh, autistic friendly. Uh, that's not exactly what it's for, but this will give you the foundation and the things that you really need to wrestle with before you get to that point. So I highly recommend Peculiar Discipleship by Claire Williams. I'm going to leave a link in the show notes, which is a, an Amazon affiliate link. Uh, and I would strongly encourage you to read this book. Thank you for watching this and God bless.